Hey guys, it's Britt, and I'm here to do another review for something new otaku, and this time I'm reviewing something called The Soul Taker. The Soul Taker is about this teenager named Kyosuke Date. He's stabbed in the heart and buried alive by his own mother. Awesome parenting right there, let me tell you. Upon being rescued by a girl named Maya, he starts to learn things about himself and his past that he never knew. For one, he can transform into this big mutant called the Soul Taker. <laughs> like the name. Yeah. And two, he has a twin sister who, who is wanted by two different foundations. Both the Kirihara Foundation and the Hospital Foundation are after. Kirihara then kidnaps Maya because she's a flicker of Runa, which is his twin sister. Flickers are basically fragments of souls given human form, and Runa has scattered them all over the world. And they can be any shape, size, gender, age, it really doesn't matter. Kyosuke then vows to save all of the Flickers and Runa once he can find her. Because he doesn't know where she is. He didn't even know she existed. Anyway, save them from everybody who's after them. Along the way, he meets a couple of people who help him on his quest. First, there's Shiro, my favorite character. He's a mysterious man that happens to know a lot about flickers. Then there's Kumugi, my least favorite character. She's a mutant nurse. Together, the three travel together, fighting all the bad guys and, and trying to stop the two foundations. The series itself is really awesome. It's 13 episodes, and it's really dense and... and really complicated. And the characters are really like none other. And not because they're really creative. More like because there is no real good guy. Even the three main characters are anti-heroes, and you guys know how much I love the whole anti-hero thing. Though I will say right here, right now, the series is not for everyone. It's a pretty mature series. I wouldn't say you have to be 18, but, but I would at least say you have to be an older teenager. There are moments of mature content that might make younger viewers feel a little uncomfortable. Not to mention it's, it's a pretty dark series in general. The other reason it's not for everyone is because of the animation. It, it just takes a while to get used to. The animation itself is good, I actually really like it. But there are moments where, where it's just very creative. They use colors, shapes, angles, and lines to give you a feeling of unease. And it works really well. So if you like your animation a lot more straightforward and a lot less, you know, in that creative, artistic, style sense, then maybe the series isn't exactly for you. Sadly, it's not available anywhere legally. So in order to watch it legally, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and just buy it off of Right Stuff. Link down there to the bundle. It's an old pioneer title that, that was never, has yet to be redistributed by Funimation. But if all of this sounded interesting to you, then you'll probably like it. So check it out. 